You may now kiss the bride. That was a really exciting read to find out that yeah. it was straight out of the gate that that happened. It was brilliant. I remember just just smiling the whole time reading that script from start to finish. It was it was so I was just full of everything you wanted for that episode. Always eat before you have an argument. That's good. Yeah. And sleep. <laughs> I think Siegfried would probably say, oh, don't take advice from anybody, because they're not you. Plow your own furrow, I say. I think they need to go on better holidays. That's, do you know what? That's what I think it is. I think they need to take more breaks away from Scaledale, and they need to go on better holidays, not just to the North Riding, go a little bit further. A whole week, and I'm here, running around, disappearing halfway up my own backside. Oh, only halfway. Should have booked him for two. <laughs> If I could afford it, I'd buy them a house and get them out of that little room. <laughs> yes, it's interesting that in, <laughs> Just a little cottage in the, in the story, Siegfried gives James money, which is... A, yes, a, which, which is, is a, lovely. A, yeah. And also an admission that he's not paying him enough. <laughs> Partnership. Wedding present. Well, not a present. You've deserved it. Earned it. Thank you, Siegfried. In present times, I would give them, like, maybe just like a really good, um, like, toasty maker or something. I think that's the secret to a good relationship. It's a little bit. It's perfect. What about a white wisteria or something that could go up their house and flower in spring? In the 30s, I would get them uh, a, new, a new dog. I mean, because no one can ever have enough dogs. Things do come through. Hey, lad? Aye. Seems they do.